guys. Welcome back on into Fox 43 AM Live. I have a very familiar face here with me today. It's Jeff Hi. Carson with the Jayhawk Theater. How you doing? I'm great. How are you? Well, I'm doing good. I just wanted to ask you, you know, we were talking a little bit about it in the commercial break mm -hmm. here, but just for the people that are watching, you know, kind of give me a recap of how Halloween went with Rocky Horror. I would oh, love to know. Man, it was so fun. <laughs> you know, people are into this movie like, oh, yeah. you know, it's 40 some years of uh, Rocky Horror uh, fandom <laughs> and uh, the Sunrise Theater Company was there and they just did a great job kind of pantomiming on yeah. stage in front of the screen and um, you know people just had a blast they get to dress up you get to get your freak on a little mm -hmm. bit you know so it's, it's <laughs> not for everybody we a year a week uh, before on Saturday we had uh, the jazz all-star reunion show oh yeah slightly different audience a little bit, a little yeah, bit, hey. Yeah, a little more refined, you know. <laughs> uh, fewer tattoos. Fewer, fewer, fewer blood, maybe. Fewer yeah. craziness. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay, yeah. But, uh, but yeah, we, we really have done a, a, a remarkable job of bringing in a very diverse amount of entertainment in yeah. 2023 and uh, we're about to stop doing that so I, know, uh, I was gonna say give me I mean the sad but also happy yeah. days kind of here if you will uh, so we begin our first phase of construction next year so we're winding down the ticketed events we're still gonna have some tours and okay. some uh, informational things and a few events uh, that are private rentals and that sort of thing but our focus needs to be on construction we have a window of time to get our new grant um, mm -hmm. uh, allocated and that's going to make uh, uh, get us started and and really for the first time ever uh, added some actual con real construction to the actual theater itself how awesome do you I mean can you get into any nitty-gritty details that well, people can get excited about or yeah or I yeah understand boy if, not, if I you like about. foundations <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's a real. You it's, guys got a cool place already. It's a cool so I'm just place. Curious, but yeah, you know. we have to. We have to get the unpretty stuff done first. Okay. It's just mm -hmm. sort of it. Yeah, it's a hundred-year-old building. We don't have any modern amenities except for electricity in there. So we've got to get plumbing and electrical and fire safety and um, uh, heating and air, and all of that stuff's expensive. And you know, oh, yeah. costs have gone up so much over the years uh, that you know it feels like the finish line keeps moving getting pushed back uh, right but oh, man. Uh, people are excited and uh, we think that it's going to uh, it, you know help us raise the rest of the money that we need to finish the whole project yeah and I mean okay so I know that we this is at the start of the year that this is yeah. starting so mm -hmm. we have a little bit of time do we have anything that we can look forward well, to here in the uh, next month and a half kind of yeah you know uh, we have a bunch of things on the books uh, private events and rentals mm -hmm. and, and receptions and that sort of thing and with the holidays and cold weather and everything it's a little hard for us to keep the theater comfortable in the winter oh, yeah. time so we don't really schedule anything in the actual theater but we still have our Thursday throwback movies I know with I our new one. sound system <laughs> did you I go have to ask I have to well I have yeah. to ask oh. because it's uh the, the I saw I checked your schedule online and yeah. I saw the next one yeah and I was very excited I mean you know, trains and automobiles yeah. or I, uh, that was the uh, Die yeah. Hard. Die, die Hard, hard December, yeah. I was looking at the Die Hard one in December. Die hard. It's but a Trains Christmas and Automobiles movie. is great. It Hey, I've seen the I've seen the arguments. You've yeah. got a Christmas tree or two in that film, so yeah. it's a Christmas movie. We gotta we gotta uh, right. give it to you guys. But yeah, yeah, do you mind expanding on the new sound system? That's what oh I'm really excited gosh. about. Oh my gosh! If you like uh, going to movies and yeah. enjoying the sound track, uh, it, we bought a system using a grant from the state of Kansas, the National Endowment of the Arts, of course, yeah, Commerce Department uh, for the state of Kansas, and. Uh, the Creative Arts and Industries Commission uh, awarded us a grant to out outfit our uh, gallery with a surround system. It's THX Ooh. certified, and it's sort of off the sel fancy. shelf stuff, but it <laughs> fills the room with this spacious sound. Uh, Saturday, we ran it in a sort of a club mode, and the subwoofer's going, and oh, everywhere wow. you walk the, in the room, it's this spatial sounding music, and uh, so we're kind cool. of excited about showing that off. 
Yeah, that sounds awesome. Yeah. That's like surround sound in a, you know, that's everything you can ask for yeah. basically when you're watching a film. You really uh, want to be immersed into it. That's right. And I feel like sound is one of the biggest ways of doing that. I mean, yeah. of course it's a visual form, but I would argue it's also an audio form as well, you know, with movies. So yeah. um, I think that that can give you just even more so of a kind of immersive experience with the soundtrack of mm -hmm. films. And uh, even with, you know, just the dialogue, sound effects, things like that, it, it, uh, hearing them you know, they yeah. add, everything adds to the film. Well, so. you know, and movie going has changed oh, a yeah. lot uh, since COVID. So what we intend to offer after our construction is mm -hmm. over, we will have put a lot of research and energy and money and time into getting the right sound systems. Our film offerings will be experiential things, sing-alongs, Hamilton, oh, sing, cool. you know, uh, all oh, of that Oh, you said sort Hamilton. Thing. Yeah. Oh, oh, I love Hamilton. <laughs> uh, do you know all the lyrics? My gosh, my 13-year-old can sing every lyric. Satisfied, every, raps, I can sing every single lyric. Oh, yeah, my gosh. So, so all <laughs> you that's got me all excited now, Jessica. All that's gracious. important. And, you know, I think going to movies is, is never going to quite be the same. We're not going to yeah. go into a black box full of, you know, seats and curtains yeah. and, and a screen. It's got to have more to offer to get people to go to those things. And that's what you guys are going to be doing while yeah. you're while you're taking just a little bit of time off. Well, you know, do, we're going to yeah, and we're calling it the Great Intermission. Great, by the way. I love that it's got a title. When do, yeah. do you guys? I mean, I know I understand if not, but do you have a timeline for when you hope to be back open? Uh, if we can continue and sustain the construction from beginning to end to get done with what we planned. Uh, we would love to be open in our 100th anniversary celebration year of 19, or 2026 Great. and 27. So, uh, yeah. Hey, hundred hundred years. That would be the big. Oh, that would be the big yeah. comeback. You know, that's yeah. awesome. So, yeah. hey, I hope to see it. Well, yeah. we, we thank you so much, Jeff, for coming on. And thank you, um, yeah, we're really excited to see what you guys do over there thank at you. Jayhawk Theater as yeah, always. Yeah, we are too. <laughs>